Here we are in Mugello in the Tuscan countryside and this is a track that we've never raced in Formula One. We have tested here a long time ago but to all intents and purposes this is a new circuit for us. Now with it being a new circuit that presents a lot of uh, challenges but also opportunities. What's important with a new track is that rate of learning. How quickly can you understand what's important? How quickly can you also get the car optimised uh, for the layout of the track, for how it's going to behave with the tyres? And the better you can do that, the more you can gain a competitive advantage. Well, how does that work start? Well, actually, there's a lot you can learn just by looking at the layout of the circuit, understanding the speeds of the corners and the tarmac. Now, the actual nature of the tarmac is just as important as the layout of the track itself in terms of how the car is going to balance, how it's going to behave with the tyres, what the degradation rates will be. All of those elements are actually very heavily linked to the tarmac. And even from a photograph, we can actually get a good idea of how the circuit's going to be. That's the very early stages and we'll start looking at this work many, many months, even a year before we go to a new track. The next more detailed stage though is to actually generate a racing line file. Now, this is a file that we can plug into our simulator and it'll allow it to um, simulate the car going round here, work out all the corner speeds. Now this isn't using a race driver, this is just a computer program that maps out how fast the corners are and we can work out what sort of wing level. Now, making that racing line file, you can actually do it just from Google Earth. You can take the overhead view and you can actually plot the trajectory around it and that's good enough to get a first look. But if you want to go to the other extreme, the ultra detailed approach, well there we need a LiDAR scan. And that's where you're effectively using laser imaging to try and map out the entire track, all the curbs, the surface, the verges, everything around, the barriers, uh, even the scenery. Some of the trees will be picked up by that. And that is a, is a very long and drawn out process, but that gives us a realistic virtual world that we can then let Lewis and we can let Valtteri drive in. So they can actually experience what this track is going to be like. So that's the detailed part of it. And we started that work about three months ago. Um, the circuits these days, they're actually, we're working with games companies to try and get the most uh, realistic view of the track. Because there are a lot of things around the driver, more than just the sort of curbs and the circuit itself, that they use as visual cues for where to brake, when to turn in. So. Getting a very realistic environment is one of the keys to that. So once we've got that map, we can then let the drivers drive the circuit. The, the way that the simulator will behave on the curbs is very much like the real car, so they can understand how much of that can you take. And with that, they can also just get used to the track. They know where to brake, where to turn in, which corners are flat, um, any little tricks that might be on driving line. Now, the work that we, the engineers, are doing, though, is actually a bit less exciting than that driving the simulator. What we're doing uh, on the engineering side is running hundreds of thousands of simulations, changing the setup, looking at the ride heights, the wing levels, all of those elements, how we might balance the car, and we can start to generate some um, plots that will show us broadly where the optimum setup is for this track. Now, Mugello is very unusual. It has literally no slow corners. The slowest corner here is turn one. It's about 135 kilometers an hour. Everything is faster and there is some seriously fast stuff. So that might drive us in a different region on setup. We might be going to higher ride heights, which will optimize the car more for those faster corners. But all of that work we can do to start to build the setup. With that setup we can then put on the simulator with Lewis and Valtteri. And the key thing here is hopefully when we hit the ground on Friday, when we're first out on track with these um, latest generation of Formula One cars, we've got it in a good place. They can push from the, the word go. We're not having to make big changes. And that's where we can really start the learning, trying understanding how to optimize this circuit for our car.